Rockwood 1901 just rolled in here uh, on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And looking at the graphics and the body style, that is a 2013. That's funny. I always, <laughs> it's funny how things change. Growing up, I'd always hear, so, oh, that's a 68 Camaro or whatever. And I'm, I'm not a motorhead. I never got into cars. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It just wasn't my thing. But I can do that same thing with campers now, and this information's never gonna be on Jeopardy. You don't care about that. You, you care about this camper. Let me get back on topic. In 2013, uh, they gave it a, a little bit of radius front and rear. I called it the pill bug, because it, it's uh, you know size of a bug and shape of a pill, not a uh, very original name. My uh, point to all this is that it's a, it's a cute little thing. It's, it's, you know, Rockwood's a very high level brand, and this is a very highly appointed trailer. It's just small. Now, usually when you get into these single axle campers, you start to get into narrow body campers with reduced interior heights. It's not what they did here. This is a normal eight foot wide standard body, full size travel trailer, normal interior height, normal width, normal everything. It's just small, but being fully laminated, roof, floor, front, rear, sidewalls, everything laminated, it keeps the weight in this thing really in check, all aluminum structure everywhere, it really, really makes a difference. Um, <clears throat> little campers are usually set up for one propane tank. You can see this has a normal twin propane setup, although it does look like the previous owners maintained their propane tanks when they took it home. We have packages to take care of stuff like that. Don't, don't worry about that. 3,000 pounds on the Nizzo's. She comes in right at 3K. Um, nice little storage compartment here. I like the water connections. All your connections, all your stuff is in one back corner, and I thought that was a pretty good... Oh, that's interesting. Instead of using... Oh, okay. Previous owners, uh, looks like they uh, snapped the original license plate bracket, but if you notice, that license plate bracket is part of the entire light fixture, so instead of that, they just said, eh, whatever. I'll put a handy little bolt on down here, and that'll probably be more stable. Truth? It's probably true. Um, look up top. You see that white wing sticking up. This has a bigger bathroom vent fan. They use Creative Breeze bath vent fans in 13 um, with a uh, big roof cover on it so you can leave that open even when it's raining. And look at the smart stuff here. They got the little chains on the uh, bumper cap so that if that cap pops off in transit you don't lose it. Smart. These people obviously knew what they were doing. The only defect, the only thing that's not okay that I could spot on this camper is that the metal rail that was right here to mount the grill on has been removed and it didn't break it was very deliberately removed because all of the screws and everything are right back in their original position they just took it off the trailer don't know what don't know why maybe they found a different place for it maybe they just didn't like the look of it Maybe they're, yeah, because the TV can go inside and outside. Maybe they brought a bigger, I don't know. Long story short, I don't know why that is the case. By the way, speaking of that, that black bracket is where your interior TV can dismount and remount out here. And then you've got all your hookups right down there, including a grill hookup. It still has the propane connection. Um, and this is an inexpensive but smart way to keep critters from getting into your, uh, your exhaust systems. Just take a piece of wire mesh, chicken wire, whatever, cut it to size, and put it right through the screws that already came from the factory. That is, that, that, that's the easiest way to do it. I did that at my own house where we were having birds try to get into my bathroom vent, same way. Oh, that worked like a charm. Double steps on a little camper. That is nice. By the way, 3,500 pound axle, um, and it's a, it's basically, it, the, each wheel has independent, let me do this so you can see it in the light, independent movement. Each wheel can move independently so that uh, they don't, rock back and forth, they're not hooked together in that fashion. The end result is something that gives you a better, smoother, uh, you know, towing experience. All windows open for ventilation, they're all tinted. You can see the door is strutted so it doesn't slam open in the breeze. Um, carpetless interior, uh, that's a nice thing here. And I, I like that they went with the lighter decor in a little camper. Let me open a couple shades here. I should have done that in the first place. Let in a little bit more light. Um, no battery on the front, and I saw this come in and didn't have my battery box with me, but I, I don't think I really need it. It's actually still okay in here. Um, although these are all LED lights. You look at this, and this is the first year they transitioned over. I, being a Rockwood dealer, I remember that. They um, looked at this and they said, oh, you know, people want camper lights, but they want LEDs. So they found a way to put LEDs inside something that looked like a normal camper light. Now, this is very cool in that it's two floor plans in one. This is a Murphy bed setup. So, 
during the day, you just have a nice living space right here. You could probably have a couple little, like, almost like TV stands or something if you wanted a little spot to have a meal or something like that, or go outside and have dinner, whatever. And then obviously the front bed can fold down over top of that. Sofa folds down, bed comes over it. That's a heated mattress, by the way, and I don't believe they ever used it because the uh, heat controller is still right here. All the uh, remotes, everything, all the original electronics, you know, they, they didn't... Um, act like scavengers. They didn't peel parts out of this when they traded it in. They just, all the stuff that came with it from the factory is still here. All the stuff they bought aftermarket, they took with them. Bluetooth, AM, FM, CD, DVD player. Uh, actually, in 2013, the Genesis players that they had here, um, it actually does have a microphone uh, built into it. If your phone is Bluetooth to it, you can talk to the callers, the, the people that call you, through your camper. <laughs> It's a little weird, but it's kind of cool. Um, you know, hanging bed stands on both sides. There's, I believe there's some outlets up by your headboard there for your power, um, you know, accessories and things like that. But when I back up here, this is where you start to really see some of the differences between this. So again, being a full eight foot wide, you've got a nice big wide space. Somebody can be standing at the kitchen and uh, you can still get through the bathroom. Big breeze window there too. Big full-size air conditioner. Despite being a little camper, it still has a full-size air and heat system. Um, and uh, the bigger oven. That's something Rockwood's always done for years is they use the bigger 22-inch ovens instead of 16s. If you don't care about cooking, it's still you can still use it like a cabinet. It's still there, you know? Great cabinet space. Now, normally you wouldn't have a lot of counter space, but they put both the stove cover and the sink cover on here to give you a little bit of prep space. If you like something like this, but you'd like it a little bit newer, or maybe you see this video and this camper's already sold, give us a call. Um, we, uh, obviously we're still a Rockwood dealer, but uh, we also have something like this usually on hand uh, from Passport called the 151ML. Um, almost identical layout, uh, actually has uh, bigger appliances in it. They actually went with um, yeah, bigger refrigerators and stuff, so keep that in mind. Uh, what they did here, Rockwood had an option of the full-size fridge, but uh, the way that this was built standard was with the five cubic foot, and it does have a built-in freezer up there. But what that gave you is extra storage overhead. So bigger's not always better. It's just, it is nice sometimes. That's why we carry different stuff for different people. Now back here, is really where that pill-shaped design comes into play because this whole shelf and all this extra little storage space, that is thanks to the whole pill design. If it didn't have the radius rear wall, you would just cut this off and lose all that. Um, you would still maintain, though, this nice linen cabinet. There's that big power vent fan. Oh, wow, they never, never use that. Look how clean that is. Wow, wow. Um, I talked to the, the fellow that took this in on trade. I'm like, this thing's nice. Why did they swap it out? He said, yeah, they just wanted something bigger. You know, they had it for a couple years. They had it for about four years now, and they were just ready for something a little bit larger. Nice bathroom and a little camper, too. And remember, the normal interior height means normal shower height, not reduced shower height. Nice thing. Now, what's cool is this is still new enough that it still qualifies for same as new financing. So if what you're looking for is uh, uh, you know, an easy payment, but you don't want something old that maybe has had too much rough history, this is a nice option for you right here. Uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.